So I've been looking for more uh, overhead cross-up teleport setups from uh, Martian Manhunter. And what I've came across isn't a tactic that you can generally apply among the entire cast, like the back one three knockdown into the overhead cross-up teleport setup is. So it is going to be matchup specific, but what I found is against certain characters, if you do an air attack into a downward teleport, it'll cross them up on block. Now the reason this is good is because once you condition your opponent to start blocking the cross-up setup, you can come in and start doing regular overheads strings or whatever and they're gonna have to basically guess and it's gonna be easy to open some people up because I mean it's hard to tell if if, if he's gonna go for, low, for the overhead or not because if you time the overhead late into your jump it'll come out extremely quick and that's another bonus now my theory as to why the overhead teleport randomly crosses up is if you notice when some characters block they move their head backwards and they shift their upper body backwards while their feet remain in the same spot. And if you look at when Martian Manor comes down on his overhead teleport, he comes down directly on top of their head. So when your opponent's blocking something and if they happen to shift their head backwards and you do the teleport at that time when their head's backwards, uh, Martian Manor is pretty much coming down behind their neck. And that's why it's crossing up. That's my theory at least. But anyway, a way to bank off that is you can do any combo of choice and end in the hard knockdown back forward two. Use a bar meter, set an orb, and then you can use that if you want to go for the overhead teleport cross up setup. Now once you get really good at timing the last frame on on where the overhead teleport cross ups um, on where the overhead teleport crosses up or not. If you time it the frame after that where it does not cross up and you get really good at these two timings, first one being the last frame the overhead teleport crosses up and the frame after that where, where the teleport does not cross up, if you master these two timing, these, these two different timings for the overhead teleport, you basically have an ambiguous 50-50 that you can do after every knockdown that you can choose if you want to cross up or not and your opponent's going to have to guess left or right. And that's really messed up because it's really hard to tell. It's, it's pretty much ambiguous. You can't tell. You, they're just going to have to guess left to right. So I'm going to demonstrate one. I'm going to do a knockdown and I'm going to make it not cross up. That's, that looked like it crossed up. I'm do it again. Alright, so that's the one that doesn't cross up. And then I'm going to do one that crosses up. And that, as you can see, it's really hard to tell. And another thing about this is characters have different, since characters all have different animations and block stun, um, character, the timing for characters is going to be different for where to cross, for where to teleport or cross up or not. So you're going to have to go into the lab and work on all, all the different timings for the characters, but this is really good tech that Martian Manhunter players need to have in their arsenal.